how much can a bag of holding actually hold? Let's find out. Do you ever find yourself on the internet late at night pondering some random thought and the next thing you know you're five Wikipedia pages deep on the migration patterns of monarch butterflies? Well folks, today's topic is just as niche and just as fascinating, so here I am with another internet rabbit hole all about D&D. Introducing the legendary bag of holding. Now, for those of you who aren't steeped in geek culture or who have managed to avoid ever setting foot in a fantasy world, first of all, what are you doing? It's great in here. But second, let me break it down for you. The Bag of Holding is this classic item in the world of Dungeons & Dragons. It's essentially a magical bag that can hold way more than its physical size should allow. Sounds perfect for my emotional baggage, but I digress. On paper, it's said to be about 2 feet in diameter at the mouth, 4 feet deep, but it can hold up to 500 pounds. But how much is 500 pounds, really? Just imagine... <laughs> Oh, good lord. Editor, I hope I made you yawn. Just imagine going grocery shopping and putting like an entire aisle worth of produce into one bag. Still too vague? Or maybe let's say you're in a game and suddenly someone wants to store, I don't know, a massive statue they borrowed from a village. Now sure, that statue is impressive, but is it bag of holding friendly? I mean, 500 pounds sounds simple, right? But when you think about it, it's kind of abstract. What if it's a thin statue? or short but wide. Things start to get tricky, especially if there are already items in the bag. For some real world context, let's put it into perspective. 500 pounds is like holding 83 cats, 2,000 sticks of butter, 3,500 Twinkies, a small grand piano, you know, just in case you need to take one on an adventure with you for whatever reason. Or if we're keeping things really nerdy, that's about 4,000 standard D20 dice. And let's be real, most parties are tossing weird shit into that bag, and I'm talking about severed heads, dragon corpses, troll dicks. Trolldix is a reference to Critical Role, okay? I'm not weird. And as a DM, it can certainly be easier to just let them throw whatever they want in there or even forget about how much it holds in general because who really knows how much 500 pounds is and honestly, who cares? It's a game. But if you're the type of sadistic DM that loves making your players work for it all, there is another little caveat. Speaking of sadistic, you can get your hands on the Blood Lily Masquerade, your own mini campaign created just for you. You know, if you want to challenge your players to a little vampire horror mystery, you can get it right now for free from our Patreon if you want to host a few hours of Halloween fun this October or November or whenever you're watching this. Let's be real, Vampire Mystery Masquerade sounds awesome and all the work is done for you, all the NPCs are there, and all you need is a monster manual. Now back to the video, while the weight limit of the bag of holding is 500 pounds, it has a volume limit too, 64 cubic feet to be exact. That's like the size of a really, really big fridge or a very compact car. 64 cubic feet doesn't have any specific size since it refers to the volume of an object, not its specific dimensions, but that's approximately 4 feet by 4 feet by 4 feet. Although there is no specifics about the actual dimensions inside, so about how much could that space hold? Can it hold all those empty bottles and the 10,000 gold? What about the heads, the leathers, and armors, and the infernal artifacts that you're finding. Let's start with those empty bottles. Now, if we're talking about standard wine bottles, they're about a foot tall and three inches in diameter. Without any space wasted, you could theoretically stack about 576 of them in that space. That's 12 bottles in height, 16 bottles by width, and three bottles in depth. But realistically, accounting for the bottle's irregular shape and the space between them, you might fit around 450 to 500 bottles. Now, as for gold, according to the player's handbook, 50 coins weigh a pound. Check this video out if you want another deep dive into the D&D mechanics that I made. So, after some basic math, with our bag of holdings weight limit, you could fit a total of 25,000 coins based on weight alone, and that's a hefty sum. But that's also assuming that the bag is completely empty, and if your party is anything like mine, it's filled with horrible things. And here's a fun twist. You could technically have items that weigh next to nothing, but if they take up too much space, they just won't fit. If you've ever tried stuffing a king-size mattress into the trunk of a compact car, that's your bag of holding when you try to squeeze in a house-sized balloon, even if it's deflated. But that led me to my next thought. What about air? What if someone crawled into the bag? Because let's be honest, there's definitely at least one moment like that in every campaign where the party has to crawl into a bag of holding. Well, the bag states that it can hold air for a number of minutes equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures in inside. So the bag only has about 10 minutes worth of air, so if someone for whatever reason decided to hop inside, they'd have about 10 minutes before suffocating. If you can fit in the bag in the first place, it's probably not the best idea for hide and seek, let's just put it that way. But the theoretical uses are part of the charm. When you have an 
item that, as iconic as the Bag of Holding, it's not just about what it's designed for, but how creatively you can use or misuse it. No matter how you use it, the Bag of Holding remains a testament to the imagination, ingenuity, and sometimes sheer randomness of the D&D universe that makes it so amazing. So the next time you're knee-deep in a dungeon and come across a mountain of loot, just remember, with the right bag, you can take it all with you. Well, up to 500 pounds and or 64 cubic feet of it, anyways. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below if there's another weird topic you want me to cover about D&D or fantasy. As always, forge on, my friends, and we'll see you next time, adventurers. Thank you.